Hey YouTube, welcome to Matter of Opinion. I'm Walsh P. Today we're going to speak on a controversial topic. Trump versus Obama, who did more for minorities and blacks. Now, um, it's, yeah, it's going to be controversial, but try to keep an open mind. See the points that we make. You know, you might look at, look at things differently. Today I got my boy, you know, Vic. He's going to help, you know, do the debate on the different topics that we're going to cover. And um, you can follow his channel on YouTube. God had Vic God has Victor's back today. I can't speak. Like <laughs> it's crazy, but um, yeah. Stay tuned and check out what we got to offer. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Ray the Dawn, Walsh P, and we got a special guest today. Victor here in the house. Yep, make sure you check out his channel. God has Victor's back, that's my channel. Support and subscribe. Today we're bringing you a controversial banger. You know what I mean? It's about to get feisty. Obama versus Trump. Who did more for minorities? Let's get it popping. So, Mr. Victor. Yes, sir. Why do you feel that Trump has done more for minorities than Obama? I feel he has done more for minorities just for the simple fact that you can see it. He's taking more people out of jail than Obama did. Obama had the House and the Senate, and he didn't do nothing with that. Well, let me look at the camera. Obama had the Senate and the House, and he didn't do nothing for black people. He did more for gay people than he did for black people. And I'm giving you my opinion. I'm no political expert or nothing like that. I'm just giving you my opinion. Trump, even Kim Kardashian, has taken out and done more for black people than Obama, in my opinion hooking up with Trump and, and doing for black people. Even black people know this, man. The only thing Obama did was give out phones, more welfare. Christians were getting beheaded all over the world under Obama. You barely hear about wars under Trump. I give Obama the, he took the economy from, from the rut and he took it out and built it up a little bit. Best year he had was 2015 when the economy was real good under him. Trump took it over, the economy is doing very well still under him. Not his fault that the coronavirus came along and destroyed his economy. A lot of people are blaming him that it's his fault the economy is doing bad. I don't feel that way. Okay. Walls P. Alright. Let's start off with the comment of um, Trump took more blacks out of jail. He did. Do you realize that Obama released more people than the Clinton and Bush. Matter of fact, the past 11 presidents combined, that's how much blacks that Obama had released out of jail. Number two, I see that. He, he had 62 minorities working, you know, in the federal, federal bench to serve in the Senate. That's more than Clinton. And everybody know with, with Clinton, they say, yo, that's the first black president pretty much. Black people love Clinton. Anybody that's yeah. And so, he didn't do anything, and he didn't do anything yeah, but hurt yeah. black people. And okay. put people in prison. Let, let, let yeah. finish. Okay. Also, you look at um, him banning solitary confinement for juveniles, which we all we all know minorities well black blacks and minorities basically is overpopulating the prison system so that's another thing stop doing crimes and you won't go to jail that's yeah, not that's thing. true let's look at um how he funded the hsb the hsbc with his pell grants he put so many like he basically made low poverty people able to go to go to college veterans choice you could hear trump trump saying oh veterans choice it took 50 years for veterans choice to be passed but yet my administration passed it no veterans choice was it was basically implemented in 2014 under obama which no other president was able to get it. What he did was he extended it and made it a, made it so that other vet, veterans can you know go to their doctors or whatever. So 
even his um fut his what is it his um criminal reform act if you look at the policy it was literally based off the criminal reform that obama did you know and so the I only the right. only difference is it backdated it further and the maximum sentence of 25 to life he just shortened it so you do 25 but if you go step by step yeah look into it and see and the funny thing about the the um the um first step first step act that he did do y'all realize that that wasn't even the first original bill mm. when they when they tried to pass it through um i don't remember the i don't remember the gentleman's name that um i have it written down okay it was dick durbin and charles grassley who said no it's not going like no this is not this is not good this original plan the democrats fought and changed that plan to where it is and that's the bill that's been that's been signed into congress and everybody's like yo you know yeah, Trump, you know, he does good with, with signing the bill and everything like that. Do y'all realize that Ronald Reagan <laughs> signed for Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday and he opposed the bill? So, yes. So, my thing is, yes, you can say, oh, he signed the bill, whatever this, that, and third. But if you look at the original bill, it was not as conducive as it is now. And... Look at the um, My Brother's Keeper Act, where impoverished areas, they have programs to make sure kids can read at their level that they're supposed to be in. You got em job employment, you know, job placement, you know, stuff like that. Oh, another thing he did. He also implanted the, uh, what is it? What is it called? What is it called? SBA. It's the SBA, where if you're, if you're um, an ex-con, you're able to qualify for fifty thousand dollars, up to fifty thousand dollars, to start a small business. So Trump people, is helping out too with that. But, but people are saying, "Oh, Obama did nothing for blacks." Yeah. That's a lie. Do you know how much? Um, a lot of blacks feel that way. Well, a lot, a lot of blacks feel that way. Still got a little finish, man. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, I understand a lot of blacks may feel that way, but what they're saying is, well, he didn't put no money directly into my pocket. That, that like he's not going to be able to please everybody but to say he, the man didn't do a lot for blacks it's outrageous, it's he, outrageous. He, he, did, he did some things for black people but not to the extent everybody glorifying that he did for black people you know what i'm saying they blame trump for deporting and putting kids hispanic kids in cages obama did that yeah he did you know he did obama did that yeah, the wall he put the wall we need a wall in this country <sighs> obama See? We need a wall. So why do you believe we need a wall? We need a wall just for the simple fact that you got all these people coming here illegally, raping the medical field, okay. the hospitals, the school systems are going down when you had a classroom of 20, 25 kids. Now you got 50 kids, they can't learn properly. You know what I'm saying? And people want to complain, but Y'all were the ones that got them people here, supporting them all, let them come in the country. Now, now y'all want to bitch that all oh, my kids are not learning in school. Hey, thank y'all for helping people come here legally, making the classrooms from a small group. That that's where you learn into a big posse of kids in the classroom. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The schools are a mess, bro. And people are coming here illegally, working, sending all the money to the countries, empowering the countries. And, and they don't they don't invest nothing in America. Y'all know that, bro. Yeah, but look at it like this, too. It's always saying that they come in illegally and invest in the, invest in the country and stuff like this. <laughs> and they don't hire black people. When they, <laughs> when, when, when they open up businesses, buy buildings, they don't, they don't even employ black people, bro. And these other people, black people are defending, bro. But how is that an Obama problem? No, I'm saying that, that, they, that I'm saying that that's why we need the wall. And that's why I support Trump with the wall. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, but his whole basis for the wall was pretty much they're coming and committing crimes and doing all like if you if you if you look at it, the guy is racist. <laughs> now Trump been around forever. Now all of a sudden, now, he's racist. now here, let him explain his here, point. 
Okay, the the racist situation. I'm gonna get back to um. And remember, I'm not a political but, expert. Yeah, yeah, I'm just giving my opinion on my man. Well, he's getting, we, we all getting, we he's, all yeah. getting, he's, all getting the, he's getting the, he's getting the bad of it from day one. From day one, Democratic Party bow to get him out of power. And y'all believe in everything that they're saying in the media. The media and the Democrats are together to get okay. this man out of power. But check this out though. Yeah. For you to for you to say, think about it. The vibe that your man gives off yeah. is he's racist. Yeah. What has he ever said about any of these unarmed killings of black of blacks? What do you mean? Unarmed he, killings he of never blacks? Said, he never said anything. The, the problem is, yeah. he'll... He hasn't he'll, said nothing. Yeah, previous, exactly. Previous but, but, presidents haven't said anything either. What you mean Clay, they haven't said anything? And all of them n n never no, spoke they about would. The they would say stuff. They would say stuff about it. Now, yeah. now check this out. Come on, Wally. How is it that you can have a... Black Lives Matter movement mm -hmm. that are peaceful protesting and remember the people that are doing the looting and stuff like this are people that have agendas to try and mess up the black part, the black um Lives Matter movement. I feel like with you, you know, so, so you got, you got yeah, something. Yeah. Like, so here's the so, so here's the thing. If um you got anything that happened, like for instance, it was was that in South Carolina where you had the 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 white people with the Confederate flags. And KKK, all of this, he spoke on it quickly and yeah. said those people aren't that bad. He spoke. Uh, he spoke for both groups. He spoke for the but, for minority group and he spoke what, for the white people. What did he say? He said that they were good and bad in both sides. That's why he said. I refer. I hear. I. I he said it was hear, good. I literally nah, hear him referring to them as thugs. Thugs. That's what you literally hear your man refer to them as thugs. But then you, you have some thugs in there. He ain't lying. You may have some thugs. You may have in some thugs. Sides. You may have some thugs in there, but if they're peacefully protesting, what the thugs have to do with it? What well, does the label have to? Here's the yeah. thing: these people were walking with guns down the street, and he said they're not bad. The, 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 that's the, the, the thugs. They have the right to walk with their guns out. It doesn't matter. You still can't explain to me nah. how. You still can't explain to me how during a Black Lives Matter protest, you had a white guy that shot two people, injured another one. And then he turns around and say about the about the guy, oh, he probably felt intimidated and basically like said like basically saying how about, he, he how wasn't about, bad. How about the Trump supporter in Portland? They they killed him not too long ago, a few days ago, because he was a Trump supporter. That's why they killed him. Yeah, I, I don't agree with that. Huh? I don't agree with they that. They killed him for being a Trump supporter. And, and you know who I'm talking about, the one in Portland. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? But I So that's good but, and bad in both yeah, sides. But here's the thing, I guarantee you Trump will step up in ASAP and say, Oh, yeah. that was wrong. I guarantee you he'll step up ASAP. He'll he'll defend both both, yeah. both sides. Like, like like I, I had like that. I had I had a conversation mm -hmm. just the other day where it's like um you know Trump is going to see um is going to see Jacob's mm -hmm. um mother and everything like that. Yeah. You notice how every time he's going to either speak to for instance, like uh, when he spoke to um, George, George, um, George, George Floyd, Floyd George Floyd's, um, yeah. pat, you know, folks or whatever. Right. You notice how that stuff is on a hush hush. He doesn't go on the panel and discuss it, whatever this and the third. But then when it comes to speaking bad, saying they're thugs, whatever, or speaking good about, you know, um, whites and stuff like that, he'll go on the panel and do it. But stuff that is contributing towards like, well, quote unquote, supposed to be showing some kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, sympathy for blacks. It's on a hush hush. You don't hear like everybody don't show sympathy for black people, even the media. Yeah. But, we as, have, but, but if you're the president, you you're supp like, you're supposed to make an lead by example. And, and, and not to cut you both off, yeah. but, but uh, to bring up that point about protesting, it actually is illegal to protest with firearms. Okay. There, there, in case most people don't mm -hmm. know that, it is actually illegal to protest with firearms. There's, okay, I, there's I, a, I didn't know that. There's an article yeah. that Congress passed where if you are protesting with firearms, it's still it's technically considered a riot. Now, but how come they're not getting arrested if it's illegal? Um, simply because from both, from both sides, because you got black people too, well, well, and minority people with guns too, and they're not getting arrested. Well, that that depends mm -hmm. on 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 the uh, the state, the county, wherever, and then whoever wants to mm -hmm. whoever wants to, but by law. Mm -hmm. It is illegal to protest. With all, all I know is that if we sit down and put all emotions aside, because right now everybody's very emotional, 
and very emotional. If we sit down and put emotions to the side and sit down and hear what this man has to say, I guarantee you a lot of people will change their mind how they feel about this man. This man is for America. Before him, everybody used to complain, complain, oh, politicians, they ain't no good, they don't do nothing for the people, they don't do nothing for the American people. You got a president that's all for America and nothing but for America. They want to label him a racist, they want to get him out of power. Why? Because he don't offer free welfare. You so, know what I'm saying? He don't offer all this free stuff for you. He offers a job. I'm going to create jobs so you could get up and stop depending on the government and go get a job and work. Well, 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 no, well, it, well, Trump, I mean, I said Trump. Obama was doing the same thing during well, the recession and well, everything. Well, yeah, like that. That was, yeah. He, but a lot of people was, a lot of people, I was hearing this from people all over here in the media. There was a lot of jobs, but a lot of them were part-time jobs. People had to work one or two jobs to make a full-time job. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? You know that. Well, yeah, a lot of part-time well, jobs. Not, not to interrupt both of you, but to yeah. be fair, and this is to be honest, to be fair, yeah. uh, you really can't blame either Trump or Obama for the welfare crisis because yeah. all minorities are on welfare. And, no, I'm not blaming and, them. I'm saying that this president is trying to get them out of welfare. The, right. the, wealth, the, the food stamps, and, people on food stamps has come down under him. And, and even and even, and even even during Less Obama's people. time, Obama was 38.7 million people on food stamps right now. Uh, oh, even Compared to 42 million with well, Obama. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you gotta understand, even in Obama time, Obama was trying to lower it at, at a at a low pace because you you know most people feel realize this: the majority of people on welfare are white people. The economy is now because he set things in motion. And realistically, whenever you set things in yeah, motion, you gotta give whenever credit. you set things in motion with the economy, yeah, you don't really see the turnover till about two years later. Yeah. I, I so it's a trickle down effect. Yeah. So it's like if I give you if yeah. if I'm leading. You know the whole game, and there's two minutes left, and I got a thirty point lead, and I put you in. How could you mess up the game? Yeah, I thought you, were <laughs> you can't yeah. mess up the game. You know, no, but, but but you also got to look at it this way. Another president could have stepped in and messed up the economy. That's true. Trump took it and That's kept true. it nicely and come and getting better and better. Look, you know what I'm trying to say? They don't, not, go, they don't give him no credit. Why? You know, I'm like, not. They don't not, give Trump I'm no not, credit. I'm him, not. I'm nothing. not. I'm not gonna say Trump didn't do things. He has done a lot. My issue, like, for a non-politician, yeah. for, for for a businessman, he's running the country as a business. He ain't running. He ain't running America like no political way. They've been running this this country politically for how, how many years now? For the last twenty years, forever. The Bushes, forever. The Clintons. Go back twenty years until now. This country has been a war over what? Over lies, bro. This guy yeah. said, yo, no more wars. That's it. Why are we in war for? None. You do realize. Common sense wars. You, you do realize that he sent missiles to um, Syria, right? And his, the whole talk was, yo, Hillary's going to go to war with Syria. You yeah. know, he sent missiles to Syria, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying, so yeah. yeah, it might not have been a war, but yeah. he did send missiles to Syria. And his whole argument was, like people's people's whole people are now, not dying. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. But here's the thing. The only reason why mm -hmm. it was the only reason why it wasn't a war is because when he buddied up with Putin, that made them lax there, getting um like losing like um for them losing their support. So you don't to, think that's to, good? It, it, Us it, making friendship with our yeah, enemies yeah, and it keeping is, peace in the planet. Yeah, it is good. It is the good. only president that has made peace in the Middle East right now. Well, the only well, one. Well, we Obama can't. didn't do it. Bill Clinton didn't do it. The Bushes didn't do it. Well, well, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Right now, they signed a deal for peace out there in the Middle East. I'm, I'm sorry to disagree, but um, Obama did actually make peace with the Sheik of Iran in terms of the oil trade. You have to realize this. Gas was really low in Obama's second period. It's slower now. It's not as low as it was. If but you look at it, it, it is but low though. It is slow now. Remember, remember, and, that, and remember, he has remember, for remember that point. Remember years. that point where they was paying you to and, take, to take, yeah. And, 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 so and, and, and I'll tell you, and I'll tell you why it's 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 low now because if you most people don't realize this, but Trump has actually been forcing his political views and um, his influence on smaller countries in South America that have found oil. Prime example: Guyana. Guyana. Um, Trump literally told. The black president yeah. that was there, that if he doesn't surrender office and give it to this Indian president that he was backing, he would remove all of the embassies and revoke all of the green cards for Guyanese, you know, 
uh, people coming over here to America. Yeah. So in that term, you know, he uses influence to influence another country's uh, presidency and election and everything. And the, the uh, Indian guy is in power now. And, okay. you know, a lot of the oil trade that is going is happening in America right now is from Diana. Because we have a large oil Probably supply. the other guy was dumb. He didn't know how to run the country. <laughs> well, Trump was somebody well, smart. And he said, hey, well, listen, I got a smart person to run well, the Well, actually, actually, when that so guy business was, with this I, I can't, when, I, when that guy no, was I'm in saying. power... He was actually dealing with the Chinese, and if you go to Guyana, compared to when he was dealing with America before, the Chinese actually built up Guyana very well. Like, it's modernized. Yeah, the Chinese people are taking over, bro. They're taking over everything. So, yeah. Yo, they're building yeah. their country with American money, building their military with American money. Thank, thank God for Trump that he's building a military, because pretty soon China would have had a better military than us, bro. Well, other, you know country, other countries been like they've been moved like advancing quickly than um America than U.S. Then like, they're the talking US about the military. farmers, the the, the 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 agriculture. It's it's not as for the agriculture is doing bad right now. He bumped in twenty eight billion dollars into the agriculture, made a deal with China so they could buy agriculture from us, corn and all that stuff. Well. Well, He's not, attacking China. China has been he, raping he America is, for he years. Is, bro. He but, is, but I, 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 will, I will say, let me say this. Let me say this real quick. Here's the thing, because um, we can talk about he's attacking China or whatever, everything like that, and how he put the tariffs on China. But how do you think that affects us as the consumers? If you're charging ta um, China tariffs now, yeah. guess what companies in the U.S. is basically saying? Well. Since China's charging more now, since the tariffs went up, we got to charge you guys more for our products. Build them in America. Bring them jobs back to America. You, you make it. And, 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 and make it in America, Wally. A lot, yo, listen, that's a lot of jobs that American people could do, and they ship them out to other there, countries. There is, but let's, let's be real. Let's be real. China, China, we all know, like... As far as like the jobs that they do and the amount of pay that they get, people in America is not going to settle for that. Oh, I know that. That's why. That's so. It's easy for you to say bring them to America, but and, I, and a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people be, be be complaining about Trump. If y'all want to complain about something, why don't you, why don't y'all complain about the the rent control? No rent controls nowhere. That's why the rents are sky high for a little cars and they charge you fifteen hundred dollars. Complain about that to your governors. You know what I'm saying? Well, always complaining about the guys, racist. You ask a lot of these Trump haters, bro, why they hate Trump, and they don't even know why they hate Trump. Well, bro. here's the well. Here, them, well, bro. here's the thing. I'm glad you brought that up because last year, yeah. mm -hmm. when Trump basically said he's gonna bail out these businesses with one yeah. or two trillion trillion dollars or whatever, yeah. and he literally told everybody, with us giving this bailout. That money is going to trickle down to workers where people are going to get more money. Yeah. Those guys literally said, I'm not giving them, I'm not trickling that money down to the workers. Yeah. It's going back in my pocket and I'm reinvesting it within the company, you know. But so, they, did but they tell him that? They, they literally said they're not doing it. And, and, and he still I, passed and, it. And, yeah. And, and yeah. Have, yeah. And I doubt that shit. I'm you telling have to you. Blame both parties, Trump and Obama, yeah. because they still get these same people tax breaks. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. what is that? But but you gotta understand, they gotta give these people tax break. These people are creating jobs when they get that money, bro. They, they, they do. big company. Let's keep it real. Like I said, like we were talking, bro. If y'all were rich, y'all would want them tax breaks too. So oh, yeah, let, I'm not, let, I'm not let, gonna let, front let, on let, that. Let, let's I, not but we're not saying? gonna front on that. But, you you know, but 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 here's the thing: you gotta base like people base things on what's conducive to them. Exactly. So yeah. for instance, if you see something in the Bible that conforms to your lifestyle you like yeah i support yeah. that but if you see something that's not you like nah yeah. that's why me i'm pro yeah. certain things that republicans say and i'm pro things yeah. that democrats say what i say is this because i had a conversation with my buddy who was like yo obama gave businesses a 300 300 billion dollar tax break um i forgot what year and nobody said nothing i said yes nobody said nothing because when they was in the time of need during the recession, he was given like finding ways to give money to the um, lower and middle class. Yeah. Right now, with the pandemic, whenever they talk about bailing out big companies, there's absolutely no talks about adding to the national deficit. But when it comes to 
helping out, sending out stimulus packages, whatever, unemployment boost for people who lost their jobs that was out of control. Yeah. Now they're talking about, oh, we can't add to the national deficit. And here's the thing. Oh, you got to play both but, parties. Yeah, that. yeah. Both but parties, but, but here's the thing, though. If you bailing out these companies, but people don't have the money to buy stuff, what are we doing here? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's like you can yeah, have that, you, you can have these in. businesses and everything, but if nobody's consuming, yeah. in the first place, you shouldn't be bailing out these big companies because they sat there for years collecting billions. Where has all that money gone? Back into in their pockets. In their and, pockets, you should yeah. you you should not be taking for for both presidents, and they both done this. Because you should not be taking America's. Well, we don't know if it goes back to the pocket. Remember, them companies are are, are losing out of money. You you never know what the money's going for for the losses or. Or whatever, you know. You, you let's, know what I'm let's, let's be realistic here. You know? um, let's use McDonald's as a prime example. McDonald's in Obama's second term lost one billion dollars in what two months, and that was nothing to them. And they're a big franchise company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So they can lose one billion dollars in, in two months, and that's nothing to them. They don't even complain about it. Imagine how much money they've actually made over the years. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So if you lose a billion and it's nothing, that means you accumulated yeah, a lot if, of bank. If you're reinvesting your money and stuff like that, well, you're not just going to have that money just sitting there. Yeah, of course. Reinvesting and opening course. more and more. But, you know? but here's the thing. I understand um, businesses is who bring jobs and everything like that. But it's like these businesses can make bad decisions and the government bailed them out. But you as an individual, if you make a bad decision, they're not gonna bail you out. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Well, anyway, let, <laughs> let, 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 let's forget about the business. Let's get back to the topic. Okay, yeah, well, well, I mean, it, it all goes hand yeah. in hand though. Yeah. This man right here, Trump, in three and a half years, this guy has done a great job in America. In my opinion, a great job. Compare Obama's first three and a half years and his first three and a half years well you can't you can't compare the first three and a half years because when well, when he walked into the economy yeah. for, for the yeah. economy for African Americans unemployment was 17.9 when Obama walked into office and unemployment overall was at 7.9 yeah by the time he walked out of left office unemployment for African Americans was down to seven like 7.4 that's yeah. over 50 percent of a turnover and unemployment was at 4.7 and right like before the pandemic hit it it was at what like 3.6 or 3.7 yeah. or something now i understand that it's gonna be harder like since the unemployment rate is low as far as it dropping quickly it's kind of harder because it's not that much of a gap you know from dropping it from you know seven point whatever down to three like it's 3. not 5, yeah, I think it yeah it's like it's like it's not that much of a gap or whatever but but it's over we can't i can say this everybody like everybody like everybody say you know you can't blame the pandemic on trump but okay. at the end of the day it happened on his watch and number two if you've been getting warned months ahead about the pandemic and you basically like took it as a hoax and didn't react or make, make any type of preparations to prepare for it that's on you and the reason why i say it's on it's definitely on you is because you literally took no time to prepare for it because you said when obama was in office they left everything bare dry for um you know masks and everything like that which was basic emphatically untrue because they left basically information for if a pandemic happened. They even had like a conference call, which they basically was like like not paying attention during the conference call. They had all these resources. You can't blame Trump for the for the for the coronavirus, no. You can't. You but, can't blame but, him. But 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 if he if he's literally saying the previous office left the left the um shelves bare, and then he later found out oh they weren't bare. That's on you. That means you wasn't doing anything to try and like that prepare. you wasn't doing anything to try and prepare for the pandemic because you had stuff right there at your disposal listen you you get what i'm saying yeah. so it's, it's like you yo, can't, I, it's you it's, cannot blame trump for, for for the coronavirus it's like saying it's like saying it um, doesn't matter why he would have dated wally they got it out for the guy they would have found some type of fault to blame him if they made if they, he would have did something early they would have found something wrong and if he would have did it late like he did 
but, but, the but you know that you 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 could you could blame the president, but you also you, can't have, blame him. you you also have to blame his decision on who he put in in office uh, for certain categories. Like for example, uh, he, he didn't put that Dr. Fauci in in, in, in power, and he's, he he was letting himself go by him, the top doctor of the country. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. You but know? but so but even everything Dr. Fauci is saying now, you're disregarding it. So. Exactly. And then it's, I, I, I don't believe what he's saying. It, it's, it's not just that. It's 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 his. He's also fired um, people that have been really qualified for the job position. Like he's fired a former Secretary of Defense. Like the second you realize that they he, they they ain't qualified enough for his purpose. You realize that the Secretary of Defense that is in position right now is a replacement of a replacement of a replacement. You know what I'm saying? So basically, <laughs> that's you're just good. Getting re- if, How is that if, good? That if, means if, you're if, constantly. If you ain't good, fine. That's it. Simple as that. Get, get there. <laughs> but but he, <laughs> <terrible. laughs> you have to look. <laughs> he only fires the people and when they talk back to him and give their yeah. own opinion. He's the boss. You don't talk back to your boss. You don't talk back to <laughs> you. You of all people say that. I, 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 I say that. Look, look, look. And you talk to your boss, he, you lose your job. He be the one that's what yeah. He be the one to tell us, yo, I'm yeah. not going to get you we, coffee. That's, we, that's we, it. We, you know we, need, we need to call Claude. I need, I, I need to admit it. We, you know need, we need to call Claude to, to fight that one, but At least I admit it. You talk to the boss, you get, you, you, they get rid of you. Simple as that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Austin, if you see this video, show it to Claude. This yeah. part. <laughs> <laughs> that you don't talk back to your boss. You don't talk but, back to your boss. <laughs> but Claude, I don't depend on you. I depend on God, man. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, like at the end of the day, basically closing argument. Like I agree, there's things that Trump did that are good, and there's things that you know. I Obama don't, I did good stuff. Agree. I, I, I could agree with the yeah. care thing that he did and stuff like yeah. that. You know, because. You got people milking the system, like I told yeah. you, in the hospitals, you yeah. know? Then they take away some oh, yeah. money at the end of the year if you didn't have insurance. Yeah. That, I agree with that, you know what I'm my, saying? Like I said, my biggest thing is how a lot like a lot of these um, bail, like bailouts and stuff like that, which, hey, it is what it is. But when it start affecting people's benefits who paid into this stuff for years and they're retired yeah. and they need to access these benefits it's not fair to them mm-hmm. um, and yeah, the only thing the only thing also that I don't agree with is in my opinion I believe he has uh, basically made it seem like it's okay to be racist so to speak not to say no, like, I, 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 no I, I, I'm not I, I, I'm not going to say I'm not like I'm not going to say well I'm not going to say I'm not going to say that He's racist, but um, eh, eh, eh. let me. Can, can, can I finish? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that he's racist because he is unfiltered with the things that he say, how, so it can come off, you know, how raw. Man should be. raw. Yeah, it, it how can man come off be. raw. But at the end of the day, when I see with my own eyes that you're not speaking up on stuff that's happening to minorities, and don't get me wrong, I understand. Us African Americans, like we, we do detriment to ourselves. We like we have the crab in the muck bucket mentality or whatever. So that's something that we gotta work on. But at the end of the day, you as the person in presidency, you still need to set an example and at least say something to bring the com- to bring the country together. Not praise one party, but the other one you say nothing on. Man, this country, I can't agree with that. This country's been divided way before Trump, and to the defense of Obama, it's been divided way before Obama. America has always been racist. It was built on racism. Well, I don't believe in that word racism. Let's just say on evil. You either a good human being or an evil human being. Simple as that. That's just a, a word that they throw around to divide people. You either a good human being or you a piece of shit human being. That's it. You know what I'm saying? If you dislike another man for the color of his skin, you know what I'm saying? You're worse than him. You know what I'm saying? You're yeah. the real nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so, so. Um, I want to say something in defense of Trump. The guy, he ain't racist, man. Let's keep it. We got to stop this hypocrisy in America with the president that he's racist and stuff. Everybody in America is racist, bro. We're more racist amongst ourselves than white people are. You go around. Chances are who's the one that's going to employ you and give you a job? White people, you ain't your own people. You know what I'm saying? 
to my defense, Spanish I, people I did get hired by black people. You know, black <laughs> Well, one job. Claude is. Oh, Claude is. That's not his Look, company. He that's fought, not his company. He fought for Well, he fought for us. I'm, 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 I'm a player. You know that's yeah. a joke. No, that's no, a running no, joke. No, but go on. <laughs> supposed to be. He gave us a job, and I'm thankful for yeah, that. You know definitely, what I'm saying? Definitely. So I, I can't take that. But in reality, the company's white owned. Let's keep it real. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So let's stop hating on on oh, oh, racism and all. We are racist one way or the other. I hear black people dump on Hispanic people. I see Hispanic people dumping on Spanish, on um, black people. Everybody hates one another. This country is a divided country, man. I will say this. America though. is a racist country and it will continue being a racist country. I will country. say this. And to like, to back, piggyback what you say. Yeah. When you see a lot of successful black folks, whenever it comes to like, not all, but some, think like, I'm not even going to say something. Think about it. How many times we had conversations, whatever, and we're like, yo, if we made it big, whatever, um, who do you think is more likely to screw you if you have a um, tax attorney? Uh, you know, a uh, white Jewish person or a uh, black person or whatever. Oh, <laughs> your own people. <laughs> you know. Yeah, you can't have to think so hard. Cut, cut, and this is the analogy I want to bring with it, too. Um, Say, for instance, you're like your kids or whatever, right? If you have, if you're a person that have kids, mm -hmm. you're more likely to, if your kid like say you're not in the mood to play whatever this time and third, and your kid come in, hey, I want to play whatever. You're more likely to say to that kid, say to your kid, you know what? I'm tired right now. I'll play with you later. But if another person's kid come to you and want to play, you'll play with that kid. Yeah. So it's like your own, like your own. You're more laissez faire with them. Skeptical. Yeah, you're more laissez faire because your own is more, more, more likely to do you dirty than somebody on the outside. That's why they say, um, if you go into business, try and do it with your friend as opposed to family. Because family have like family will have the mentality of you know, well if I mess up they'll forgive me always because I'm family. Friends like friends will always have that look like yo. That's my bond. I don't want to break that bond because that's my, my true friend. Not to say if that's always the case, but, you know, majority people, of majority of the time, yeah. people yeah. look to go into business with friends than family, you know. So, yeah, needless to say, we're pr more prone to treat ourself, our, our kind with hatred as opposed to others. Then they blame um, Trump. Oh, that he does, that he's doing more, more for white people. He is why he's supposed to do more for, for, for his people. Y'all had a black president for eight years. Don't get upset because he did this shit for y'all. For well, minority people either. Well, you know what well, I'm saying? Well, so let, 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 let's keep it real. Let, you know let's what let's keep it real. Let's you know keep what I'm saying? Real. If you think about it, the Republicans controlled the House during Obama's time. Now, and I will lot, say this. And a lot of bills, Two years he had the House and the Senate. He didn't do nothing with them. He was years. trying to build himself yeah. out of that yeah. hole. That, exactly. But his, his, his last turn, the Republicans owned the House. And they, and every time he went to go pass a bill that would be beneficial to all races, they would stop it. Right now, Trump supporters are acting with more class than Obama supporters. And these are these are these are the now you, you get killed for wearing a Trump hat. They, these are but these are the yeah, same. I don't agree with was, that. was white yeah. people attacking Hold Trump on, supporters? Let him finish making his point. But these are the, these are the same Republicans that are turning around yeah. and who are trying to pass biracial laws with Trump. So you have to you have to understand. You know, um, we need to get rid of all of these old politicians. Like it's it's yeah, politicians. I agree with that. Yeah. It's politicians that's been in there for 10, 15 years and need to go. Yeah, yeah, this is the ones that been in there when every time the president does the announces um, how you call that when he addresses the nation. Yeah, yeah. Or you see this a cloud of or, or, old white people, yeah. old people that still yeah. got that that they need that, to know. that 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 KKK mentality, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, because they've been around, you know, they've been they've around, been around, around the races, they've been know? around the races. But those much. are the ones that implement the laws in America. That's why they, they and, would never and, get And around. these are the people that, that, you know, we as American citizens vote and we should yeah. be voting for them. We need fresh blood, new blood in the system. Right <laughs> now, we live in a socialist America right now. Yeah. Yeah. You get that killed. When Obama won, you could have wore an Obama shirt, a hat, anything. Nobody touched you. How come Trump supporters ain't getting the same respect? They get killed, they get punched in the face for wearing a hat. You walk down the street, somebody smacks you. That's socialism, man. That's being like in a communist country, man, where you you don't got no rights to choose who you want as president or nothing like that. Well, you know, with that, like to me, I think it's petty. Period. Where 
if you don't believe what, what I believe in, then I'm not going to talk to you. Because let's yeah. face it, you're a Trump fan. I'm, yeah. I'm not really a Trump and fan. And I'm voting like for that. Trump again. And we, yo, we like, yo, this is my dude Trump. right here. Like, this is my dude. You know what I mean? So, you can. My thing is, if two people have different perspectives, that's where you come together to share ideas. Right. This way you have an understanding. Because, like I said, there's stuff today that Vic said, and I'm like, oh, wow. I never looked at it like that. It enlightened me. You know, so at the end of the day, man, until we come to an understanding of one another and the other thing, we can't rely on politicians to make changes for us. All politicians lie. They're we got to make the changes. Yep. We got to make the changes. That's a you fact. You know, it's just like how when we had the conversation where you like, yo, you have a whole, a, a whole community or whatever and guys roll up 10 deep, whatever, and start hustling on the block. You as a community can dismiss those ten those ten people that's on the block. Exactly. <laughs> yep. Hustling or whatever. Right on. You as a community should be able to eradicate them. That's what I'm saying. Us as the people, if we want change, we have to make it happen. Not rely specifically on politicians. Yep. I, I agree with that a hundred percent. A hundred percent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we destroy our own communities and we want to blame white people all the time for, 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 for everything. We don't take responsibilities for the stuff the minority people do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We destroy our own stuff. They give you projects where you pay 50 cent rent, free electricity, and they peeing on the hallways. Yeah. You know, you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 And you want people to invest, govern, uh, uh, governors, presidents. If you don't vote for Republicans, why should they do something for you? You don't vote for them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we do it to ourselves, man. Stop blaming Trump for everything, man. Sit down. Let your emotions go. Stop thinking like your mother. Getting emotional like a woman. <laughs> That's a fact. Calm down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and and li listen to this man and everything that he wants to do for the American people and the country. Forget about the world. You live in America. If you went down with America, you need to get the hell out of America then. Because we live here in America. And and to, to piggyback on your point, yeah. um, he's 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 running to the he's running a different economy from Obama from Obama's economy. If you look at Obama's economy, it was mostly agriculture, food products. Whereas now he's, he's trying doing to agriculture run, too. Yeah, but a majority of his business plan for America is industry. Steel industry, aluminum, yeah, all those things he's bringing back, to yeah, which is basically to... innovation and stuff like that. Right, you know? right. So it's two different types of economy mm -hmm. comparison. So you can't really, really shoot him down. You know what I'm saying for the for the high prices because he's trying to bring back those those jobs yeah. that give people retirement pensions, you know, and stuff like that. But at the same time, you know, um, it all goes back to way back when when China was suffering and Japan was suffering. You know, we let a lot of our industry go over there to those countries and set up shop, which yeah. we shouldn't have. We and shouldn't. We should bring them back. That's yeah. the, that's their problem. They they doing bad. Yeah. They they the people should find get coming inside of power. Every every time something bad happens around the world, who's the first country there? America. Yeah. And the whole country always bash America. You know what I'm saying? You got a president that's all for the American people for America, and y'all don't got his back. I hope the next president that comes in. Sells America out, cause I want to see what y'all gotta say. I hope I hope they sell it out to the Chinese, cause y'all gonna be eating dogs. Look at China, bro. I didn't even knew this, bro. They make the mass majority of antibiotics. China makes it for us, bro. For what? I can tell you right now that you could spend maybe ten years plus in China and still not see all of it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's a big country, you know. Yeah. But so, America got out of empty land. You go to the Midwest, that's all empty land. It, we have it, a lot of empty land in America too. It, right? it is, it is, but but uh, at the same time, it's no the president reason. has really has really devoted a lot of money into um, certain technologies to to get resources to, to get, to resources, get resources, resources or to, to build resources. And yeah. this this is a fault of every single president, actually. If you look at it, um, even in Obama's time, you know, he never really focused on developing technology in order to build new agriculture resources. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So. It, it, it's not a matter of who it is, Trump, Obama, Bush, whatever. No president has ever really done that. You know what I'm saying? So we don't take advantage of our land. And then we waste a lot of food. Let's, oh, yeah. let's be real. Let's yeah, be real. We do. Like, there's a we whole do. there's we a do. whole cereal aisle 
yeah. dedicated to cereal. Like, yeah. like who yeah. needs that much yeah, cereal? Let's true. be honest. That's true. That's Let's true. be honest. It's a lot of starving people yeah. in the world. Yeah. 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 Which is we, we have a lot of homeless, agree with we have a lot of homeless people we, in America. We, we take a lot of stuff for granted. Yeah. Right. You got countries we, where you can only use water a certain amount of time. Exactly. Internet, a limited internet. So exactly. You know. And then, and then, but you know. But yeah, but yeah, we bless like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I for. We could do that in other countries, man. They, they got to dig for a worm to eat. But, you know but we, we, we as a country should not have any, any starving homeless people. Not in America. Not in yeah, America. That's what we he's should saying. not. Yeah, that's not in not. America. We should I not. agree with that 100%. We should not. We should not. We have a whole aisle dedicated to cereal. We can spare some cereal. Come yeah. on, let's be real. Yeah. That's because what we're worrying about the, the world, and we don't worry about our own people first. And then go yeah, Think about it. Restaurants at the end of the day, the food they don't eat, they throw it in the garbage. Exactly. They could they yep. could donate that to yeah. some homeless people, you know? you know. And then and then um we could, you know, build more shelters for them. Come on. I just love this president, man. Donald Trump, twenty twenty. This guy, give him another four years, and I guarantee you he'll put this con country back in shape. The coronavirus was at his fault. Obama gave him the economy. G good. I'm not gonna say great. Good, and he kept the good. Give him another four years, he'll put this country in better shape than Obama could have, in my opinion. And I'm giving you my opinion. You know, I know political well, expert, nothing like that. You no, know, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't trust no politician. I don't we, trust them either. Yeah. You know? Neither should you. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah. pick who you want to vote for. Yeah. But keep an eye on. Them. Yeah. And, and, I'll, and yeah. I'll, I'll just say this, man. Like. You heard Victor's point, you heard my my point, you heard race point. So at the end of the day, like I say, like I always say, there's something to make you guys look at stuff in a different perspective. So I hope that you guys heard a couple of things that made you think of things differently in a different perspective and you know, yep. from there make your informed decision. Do your research. Yep. You know do your research. And even when you do your research, try to take the politics out of it and look at it with an open mind. Like, okay, let me look at it. You know, look, look, look at it as yeah. look at it with numbers. Yeah, with numbers. Much, you know, with numbers and and sp spirituality. Yeah, you know, what I say like you got Trump that's against two men getting married. A guy that the one minute he's a woman, the next minute he a man. He could go in any bathroom. He put an end to all that. You know what I'm saying? For me, I'll say, at the end of the day, if they want to make that the decision, no, I'm saying, but well, you, know, you know that that you know that's good that they, they make that decision. That's how they feel like a woman and everything. But I'm not for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, I'm not for killing babies. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I cannot vote for Biden and that, and that devil Kamala Harris. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They support that stuff. I don't support that. You know what I'm saying? I support Trump all the way, man. Um, you know, if you are if you are a, a real person that believes in values, man. Forget about money and all the values, man. Human values, man. Vote Trump, man. Them Democrats are the devil, man. Y'all been voting for them all your life. And, and, and where y'all at in 2020? Nowhere. Yeah, you but, know what I'm saying? Yeah, but... The, Nowhere. Yeah, but... but you know, uh, get, uh, then again... The Republicans ain't gonna get you there. It's yourself that could get but, you But then you again, know? America is supposed to be the land of the free. Exactly. And and to stop somebody from, you know, expressing their love... In a, in a freely manner goes against that very foundation that you you're spreading. Yeah. So so it's what well, it's supposed to meaning 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 well, if they if America is the land of the free, let them like make that choice, choice to do exactly. whatever. Let them. So oh, even oh, so oh, even oh, oh, yeah so oh, 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 yeah so oh, even oh, yeah, if yeah so even if they have the laws in place whatever yeah so even if they even if they have the laws in place that has nothing you know that has nothing to um. With, like that has nothing to do with politics, so to speak. But it has to do it, with values. The country does, was built it, on Christian values. It you know what does. I'm it does. You know? But at the end of the day, it's just like how yeah. God put sex on the planet, yeah. right? Yeah. We're yeah. not supposed to have sex until marriage. Yeah. You see yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. you can't say, "Oh, no, this but those, th th those are the reasons that I'm voting for Trump." Oh, I, I, I okay, believe I see those what values. You, said. you know, I see what you said. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, you know I, what you said. I don't believe in none of that stuff. You know okay. what I'm saying? So I cannot vote for somebody that's going to allow for you to keep killing babies wholesale. So you know, in other words, what Vic is saying, he's going to vote for Pete, vote for Trump because vote Trump is like supports his values. Yep. So that's a way to look at it too. Vote who you think who you think has the values that you the values. And that because you he's doing a great job for the country, he's not dividing the country. This country's been divided. 
and it's going to continue to be divided because that's how America was built on hating one another. So don't expect America to get better because it's never going to get better in racial racial tension wise. You know what I'm saying? All right, that's going to be it for our show. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, Walls P, Ray, Vic, and tell them your YouTube channel again so My they can YouTube check it out. My YouTube channel is God Has Victors Back. And please, I want, you know, leave in the comments, you know, I'm up for y'all calling me an idiot, this moron doesn't know what I'm talking about. I'm like Trump, I got skin like, like a crocodile. Yeah. I, 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 I could take heat, that, that, that don't matter. Because at the end of the day, I don't count on Trump, I don't count on none of y'all. Nobody puts money in my pocket, I go out there and get my own money. Yeah, So. and um, even though his that's channel... How, that's how y'all should think, get your own money, stop depending on people. Yep, and like us, I mean, his channel's starting up too, so mm -hmm. don't be surprised if you see us show up on his channel yep. also. I do drone videos. I'm a, I I do a little bit of everything. Fish yeah. tanks, everything. So you know, I ain't no politician. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll catch you on the next one. Yup. Right. Peace. Peace. Hey, yo,